Hey, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. No matter where you are in the world, you could be doing anything, but you're here with me, and I appreciate that. Uh, my name is Jerry Goins. I have a background in finance from the University of Wilmington, North Carolina. I get that to prove it. <laughs> but I'm here to cover five things you can do to prepare yourself for the pending recession. Okay, It's not a matter of if it's going to happen. It's more a matter of when it's going to happen. And many of the top economic forecasters are predicting the year 2020. I mean, that's the year of the next presidential election. Uh, our debt right now is $20 trillion, and it can't continue to go at this pace. There's a lot of factors that are going into that. But um, if you want to link to the article that I'm talking about right now, uh, just inbox me. Or if you're on YouTube, just check the description below and just click that link to get uh, this information. But I'm not here to just to bring you down and just say, oh, no, you know, chicken little, the skies, you know, fall and kind of deal like that. But I'm just here to prepare you because people perish for the lack of knowledge, according to the Bible anyway. You know, that big, thick book that gives us personal growth and self-development tips and how to live our lives full of parables and things like that. That's just phenomenal how something so old still resonates to something today. But whether you believe it or not, that's fine. But I just want to let you know that information changes situations. And I'm here to help people get ahead and stay ahead in life. And here's these five tips. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it, okay? Uh, number one, increase your cash on hand. You know, uh, we had to have emergency funds during economic uncertainty. Um, six months to, is, is recommended, at least six months worth of expenses. Uh, if you can save up a year's worth of expenses, then you're an A student, okay? But it's important for a lot of different reasons to have access to actual cash during economic uh, un un uncertainty, you know. But you want to make a plan to add 10 to 40% of your income to a cash savings plan, okay? Not in the market, just strictly cash. That's and put it somewhere where it's easy to get to, but it's not easy to get to. You know, if it's too easy to get to, then you can't really save it because you're always going to be dipping in and out of it. And if it's too hard to get to, then when you actually need it, then, you know, it's going to be hard to get to. You know, so find an easy way. Uh, I recommend something like an online bank, uh, but also you want to keep some cash here on you. Get yourself a safe storage, a little lock box, keep it somewhere safe in the house, things like that. Uh, number two, number two ways to, uh, or number two way to build uh, and protect yourself from a recession is to build a great credit score. Okay, having a bad credit score during a recession is even worse than having a bad credit score in normal times, um, because you're going to be dealing with variable interest rates. If you have a variable interest rate uh, mortgage, for example, your house payments are going to be going up. You know, and if you're not able to refinance and get um, you know, better rates than you may be without your house, you know, coming soon. And it's, it's really a sad time for a lot of people, but you can prepare yourself by getting a better score now. Um, also, it's going to be harder to get loans, harder to get that house you need, harder to get that car you need, because lenders are going to be a lot more strict during uh, these economic times in the recession. Um, and if you have a great credit score, then there's a lot of things that you can do to benefit and capitalize in a recession, such as um, you know purchasing foreclosed homes, such as purchasing inventory during liquidation sales and things like that. If stores go out of business, it's sad, but somebody is there to scoop up all that inventory. It might as well be you, and you don't want to use your emergency fund to pay for that. You want to be able to use your credit and pay for that, right? So having a great credit score is key in a recession. Uh, number three, number three way to prepare yourself for a recession is eliminate old debt. Okay, you guys have, you know, at least a thousand or maybe even three hundred dollars or, you know, a four hundred dollar uh, debt out here. Go ahead and get rid of that now because debt is the only bill that you can pay off. Okay, I'll say that again. Debt is the only bill that you can pay off. Okay, we're, we're trying to stay ahead and keep our head above water. We don't need these unnecessary bills hanging around. So get rid of these old debts, cut them off, pay them off now, and they won't hold you down during un uncertain economic times. Okay. So eliminate old debt was number three. Number four, diversify your investments. Okay. If all your investments are in the stock, then it's going to be brutal. 
Okay, that's where most people lost a lot of money in 2008. Some people saw a reduction of 40% of their portfolio. So imagine having, you know, a a, a fund that has a hundred thousand dollars in it now it only has sixty thousand dollars in it. That's, you know, people are, are really needing to stay ahead and understand economic trends and where to put your money which is not all in one basket. You know, we hear that all the time. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. So what do you do if you have a lot of stocks? Well, you're going to be converting that to cash, okay? Uh, the short-term derivatives. And here's what you might not th thought about, cryptocurrency, okay? So as more and more people are uncertain about the market, they're going to be putting their money in other places than, than stocks. And cryptocurrency is going to boom. It's going to boom, y'all. Okay, so you want to get in now, get your share, get your, you, get you a few coins. You know, I'm talking about Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum. Uh, there's some other coins coming out. Uh, I think Ripple is some of my, my uh, some of my uh, co-investors' favorite coins are Ripple. You know, at least to trade that. Uh, but there's some other things that's coming out. So you know, you definitely want to link up with me or the person that's sharing this video and ask about cryptocurrency, how you can get started with that because it's going to be the go-to for a lot of investors and as the demand for cryptocurrency increases so will the price and you're going to want to get in at the bottom so you can cash out at the top or you can just hold it for long term but it's a good way to secure your investments by diversifying them and i'm not a financial advisor i just want to throw that out there no disclaimer but what i'm telling you is really good information number five number five way to protect yourself during a recession is diversify your income you know, we're in a country where 49% of us are currently living paycheck to paycheck and 64% of us don't have a secondary source of income. So during a recession, those people are going to be on very dangerous territory uh, because check it. What happens is corporations are going to be looking to cut their expenses. OK, during these times. And that means they're going to cut the number one expense of any company, which is salary. OK, so employee employees are going to either have reduced hours or they're going to have reduced positions and not a job at all. OK, so you really want to protect yourself. Go ahead and beef up your resume now. That's like a sub tip. Go ahead and have an updated resume. But you have to imagine that if uh, an entire company shuts down, all those people are now in the job market. And that's more and more people fighting for non-existent jobs. OK, so you want to go ahead and diversify your income by having a business okay easy thing to do is start a home-based business i'm talking about network marketing mlm direct sales as more and more people realize like hey I'm, i might as well take a chance with this okay because that's the number one reason why people don't do it now is because they're skeptical or because it's not a priority it's on the back burner as uh, the job market looks more and more dire people are going to have more are going to be more and more open to trying new opportunities and if you already have your spot a really good spot in a network marketing company and people know you and they've seen your results seen the money that you're able to make see the money you're able to help other people make then it's going to make your team explode okay so just think about that get in before economic recession and you can benefit when other people decide to move that opportunity from the back burner to the front burner because we all are here to take care of our families okay we're here to build and maintain a household and little things like just being skeptical and being scared and things like that that goes out the window in a recession it's time to get it it's time to put your nose to the grindstone put you know pat and charlie to work hit the roads hit the streets and do everything you can to reach your maximum potential and earn income but um but that's what I want to bring to y'all, you know, and also I want y'all to tell y'all about YGM. YGM, we believe that financial freedom is a mindset, okay? It only takes, not only takes strategy, but it also takes financial discipline and teamwork to get to where you want to go. I don't know who's beeping out, whose car alarm is going off out here, but maybe that's an alarm to wake up, okay? Inbox the person that's talking to you and sending you this video and, and let's understand the different ways to prepare ourselves for a recession. Our free membership at YGM can help you with all five of those things to help you put away some extra money, okay? So you can get your emergency fund going, okay? We can help you by increasing your credit score, okay? We have so many tips and resources to help you increase your credit score and help you strategize to eliminate old debt. We have strategies to help you do that. 
we have strategies to help you start investing in cryptocurrency and diversifying your portfolio. And we have a home-based business model that you can take up and implement into your life and help other people do the same thing. Okay, I mean for this to be this long, um, I, I always say that, but thanks for hanging out to the very end. If you want a link to this article, just inbox me or check YouTube uh, the description down below because, hey, my people are not going to perish for lack of knowledge. Okay, they're not. Now you know what you can do. Do what you can to stay ahead. Okay, don't be a victim. You don't have to be a victim because I tell you what, un unemployment is going to be at an all-time high. Foreclosure is going to be at an all-time high. The news is just going to be reporting on only the news that further proves that we're in a recession. So people's moods are going to be down, but it doesn't have to be you. You don't have to be a victim. OK, you can be a victor. Just inbox me. I'll give you the information. Other than that, y'all, my people, stay safe till the next time I see y'all. Peace.